Welcome back to another video everybody. Behind me is a 2021 Chevy Tahoe uh, two-wheel drive LT. It's loaded with options, so let, it's, let's see what it's all about. Let's see if it's the ultimate family mobile, or should you go for something more ordinary like a Honda Pilot or a Toyota Highlander? As I said before, behind me is a Chevy Tahoe two-wheel drive LT. This one stickers for roughly right around 62000 So it's up there in price, but uh, I, let's see if the options hold up and if it's worth $62,000 in today's market. Coming up to the front, uh, you have these uh, wonderful looking LED low and high beams. Uh, you have a daytime running light, which is LED. Uh, you have some real venting, which is really good. It's not fake or anything like that. You have your adaptive cruise control sensors at the bottom, well-integrated parking sensors. Uh, up front with the LT with the chrome grille, I think this actually has a really premium appearance. Uh, you know, it feels like you're driving something that's $62,000, which a lot of cars, um, you know, a lot of full-size SUVs really don't feel their price tag, but this one really does. Again, so you have a Tahoe badge. These alloy wheels are similar to what you get on a Silverado uh, 1500 RST. Uh, they're great wheels. They look, give it an aggressive look, a uh, premium look at the same time. Coming over to the side, you have nice running boards to help uh, shorter people like myself get in, roughly 5'9", five 5'10". Foot five foot so I'm not the tallest person in the world, but uh, these are really nice to get in. It makes it really easy. You have a camera right here for the 360 camera system. Uh, I like the chrome, the little bit of chrome they have around the window. It gives it a nice, against premium appearance. Those wheels look great. Uh, the tinted glass in the back comes standard. Uh, again, you have these LED accented uh, tail lights, which look really good. Again, I like that chrome. It's like not too much chrome, but it's just enough chrome for the Chevy Tahoe. Uh, you have your fuel door right here, which is easy fill. Uh, yeah, the side profile of the Tahoe gives us this really uh, you know, suburban cruiser type stance and it achieves its purpose while also looking premium and classy at the same time. Coming under the hood, you have the same 5.3 liter V8 as uh, it's the Silverado 1500 Brother. Pumps out enough uh, power, roughly 10,000 pound towing capacity. No, uh, you know, no issues with this. Power plant's plenty of power for this vehicle. It gets it nice and smooth. The power delivery is great. We'll get into all that during the test drive, but yeah, it's a standard engine for Chevy, a tried and true 5.3 liter, so no complaints here. Up inside to see all the goodies that uh, Chevy has put inside. Uh, let's take a listen to that exhaust and see if it, you know, still has that Tahoe uh, burly V8 sound. Before we hop in the interior of the uh, Tahoe, the key is actually very different from the Silverado 1500. You have a lot more functions. You got remote start. You can open your trunk. Uh, you can open the top part of your trunk, which we'll get to in a minute. But uh, you know, you can unlock it just like that. If you want to unlock it from here, just push this button. Opens right up, revealing this actually quite gorgeous cabin. I really like this Chevrolet silk plates down there, but I really like this uh, faux wood. Uh, but the one thing is, it does look fake. I mean, it, there's no question about it. It's a really good accent, but it, it is fake. Uh, you have power windows, power locks, I like how the front two are automatic, there's power uh, memory, again power mirrors, I really like the Bose sound system that they have down there, this chrome grab handle is, uh, really has good weight to it, the mirrors are nice and big with blind spot and you know, no complaints there. Hop inside the cold and dark interior and it looks it's a good, presents itself good, but uh, let's start it up and see this interior come to life. So you have that signature uh, chime. Coming into the gauges right here, the standard uh, Chevy, same Silverado 1500 uh, Tahoe gauges. They're underwhelming. They have analog almost everything in a tiny little screen. I wish they would have made it digital, but it is what it is. Coming out to the steering wheel, it's a great steering wheel, great modulation, great weight. Uh, the rim, again, just like in the Silverado 1500, the leather is great. The grips are great. I really love it. Uh, there's the Chevrolet bow tie. I really like how there's some that like uh, neural feel on it. Uh, coming over here, you have your auto start stop, you have your power engage, you have power, uh, electronic parking brake, your lane departure, parking sensors. Here's your uh, trailer guide assist, or drive mode. This one is your drive mode. You have a uh, normal, sport, snow, ice, tow, haul. Uh, that's pretty much it. You have your lighting controls right here, your uh, trailer brake control right here. All good stuff. Uh, I really like how this one doesn't have a column shifter. You just like, you know, put reverse, drive, park. 
Now, coming over in reverse, uh, speaking of that, the camera resolution is wonderful. This 360 camera resolution is next to perfect. I really like the rear view camera. Uh, you can get your side views right here. You can get a back view. Um, you can get pretty much everything. You can get a trailer hitch view. I mean, this view is absolutely amazing. Uh, coming to the dash again, nice, like a soft touch plastic that looks kind of like leather. This is actually leather padded right here, which is really interesting. Uh, you have vents right here. Your you have a little storage cubby right here. You just push this right here. You have a little you know, storage. You can hide some stuff in there. I really like how the entire dashboard is leather. You have some of that faux wood again. Up here is really soft touch plastic. It's really nice. The screen looks well integrated. Uh, coming down here, you have your audio controls again. That dual zone climate control. You have your uh, here. Let's find it apart. You have your heated seats control. You have your rear climate on off. USB C, USB A, 12 volt. You have a wireless charging pad down here. You got a couple cup holders right here. Uh, here you have a place to put your phone. Really softly padded center console. Uh, let's see. Opening this console up. You have a great amount of storage in here, really divided. Again, a couple more USB ports, SD card. And uh, opening this up, storage is massive. You could put a whole milk gallon in there. There's even a cleanable tray at the bottom, which is great for road trips and such, uh, which this vehicle will be seeing a lot of. The front seats are very comfortable. Again, these leather, this leather is nice and soft and supple. I really appreciate it. Coming up to the top, you have OnStar up here. You have uh, LED lighting all the way around, which is really nice. Uh, you can fold the rear seats up and down from the back, which is really cool. If you look back there, folding it down, that seat goes down, the seat's gonna go down. And But the thing is, you can also put it back up. I really like that. The driver can put, fold and raise the third row from the up front. That is amazing. Uh, you have your home link controls up here. You have uh, your setting for your tailgate, which is really cool. Uh, you know, opening up the shade right here for the panoramic moonroof. Let's see. It extends way back there. This main panel is actually quite big, but the back panel is also just as big. Uh, you know, I like it. It lets in a lot of light. But yeah, the cabin up front is great. Uh, let's check out the back and see what it's all about. Hopping into the rear of the Tahoe. The step-in height is great. You have a great grab handle right here. Um, behind the seats, the legroom is fine, especially with having that third row, but these you can actually move back a little bit. Um, you know, the door handle, everything's great. You have a little tiny center armrest right here with cup holders and all that. You have that th your third zone of climate control right here. You have heated rear seats, which is actually pretty cool. Um, back here, the leather is a little grainy on the back of the seats, but it's fine. Uh, putting these headrests up. Uh, the seats are great, nice and comfortable for a long road trip. And back there, the space is ample. You have USBs on either side, as well as cup holders and a 12 volt. So there's no complaints uh, for anybody in the family, no matter where they're sitting. There's always connectivity and there's plenty of place to put their drinks. So coming back to the tailgate, as I mentioned before, this has an interesting tailgate. So under here, there's actually a button right here. You pop this and the glass itself pops up and you get access to your cargo area. But say you need the entire cargo area, there's a distinct handle down here. It's power, opens right up, revealing your cargo area. Um, you know, you have some interesting venting right here. But you can also lower the seats from here, which is really cool. Uh, again, with the seats folded, there's plenty of room. Uh, business is full-size SUVs, you can pretty much do anything. Uh, again, power tailgate, so you don't have to do much. Closes itself up. But uh, that's it for the interior. Let's take it on a drive, and then we'll wrap up this review. Alrighty, so starting up the Chevy Tahoe. I really like the shifter. It really takes away some space and uh, opens up the cabin. No need for a column shifter or anything. But uh, let's take off the parking brake and set off in the Tahoe. So just like the Silverado 1500, the uh, visibility is great. I really like these huge side mirrors that are on the side. The back visibility is great, even for an SUV this big. I can see pretty much everything around me. I don't even have to like lurch or anything. I can just glance, I see everything. The windows are nice and big. Acceleration for a big SUV like this is fine. Uh, the 5.3 liter has a, you know, enough power for an SUV like this. Uh, turning radius is fine. Uh, you know, turning in the parking lot like this, I, you know, I can easily take turns right here. Again, power delivery is fine. So uh, again, taking more of these turns right here, I really have no problem with this Tahoe. Uh, let's see, one more, and then parking. So you may, th you know, if you're coming from a smaller car, you may think how parking, uh, parking is really easy. I mean, it takes two seconds to learn. You just perfect you know there you go it's parked so it's not really a big deal 
Uh, this, yeah, Tahoe in general, setting off, there's no complaints. You know, turning modulation's perfect, uh, putting into reverse. This camera's great. I can see everything nice and smooth. The resolution is wonderful. Uh, you know, I can't ask for anything else. You have a 360 camera, you have a front camera. I can see where all the curbs are, no problem. So, uh, yeah, all right, that's pretty much it for the drive. Wraps up my video on the 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe LT. Again, a huge shout out to Nally Chevrolet and Ron Steele, the new car sales manager here, for providing this vehicle. It wouldn't be possible that without them. They have a great inventory of any new and used Chevrolet, as well as many other make and models in their pre-owned lot. So I'd highly suggest you check out their website if you're looking in the market for anything new or used. But uh, this vehicle is here, again, 62000 before any type of market adjustment, which you say you watch Chris Patel's videos, Ron Steele will hook you up with a one heck of a deal. So make sure you give him a call about this. All the information will be in the description below. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, and comment to the channel. And uh, see you guys in the next video.